We're here with Fred Curry from Cinderella. Thanks for being in Italy. Welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, we're here in Bologna at the Estragon yeah. for your show tonight. Um, finally, you're in Europe. You never came here quite often. Um, so why this choice during the years? We what figured happened? after this much time, it's time to at least come to a show here. Hey, Mario. Come on, figure it out, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was time to come back. And, uh, 25 years, we gotta at least make another shot at And why, why now is the perfect moment to come over? Why now? Yeah. Because any waiting any longer, we're all getting too old. <laughs> okay. Um, after the live uh, demo Hogan that, that you did with Frontiers Records, uh, there's uh, another live album, uh, actually the same one, coming out on violin for uh, Bologna Rock City Records, which is Italian as well. Oh, and, um, I did so, not know that. Okay. Uh, I was you know, about to ask you uh, why this special relation with Italian labels? Uh, well, how, how Italian labels, are the, they seem to be the most aggressive now and, and the ones, you know, it's easy to get a record deal. Right. It's hard to find a record company that actually wants to do something to push the record. The easiest thing to do is get a record deal. Anyway, anybody can go get a record deal. To, to promote the record, the company has to be the right one. So, and Italy just seems to really still rock. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any plans for Cinderella to release a new album of uh, original material? No. Not at all? No. Not even like in a couple of years or you just decided never you're not going You know, Tom's been working on a solo record for many years. Yeah, I know. So, that's not even done yet. So when that's done, who knows if there'll be a Cinderella record. Yeah. I'd say right now, people want to hear the hits. They okay. want to hear the memories of what they were doing when they listen to those songs, when they listen to the songs. So anything new, if there's no support, nothing behind it, the reason that everybody loves th these songs in this band is because they've been hearing the songs blasted at them for many years. Yeah. A brand new song, they're not going to know. There's nine people are going to go, eh, I know this song. Everybody else is going to go, okay. play Gypsy Road, and then they're going to go crazy, right? So. Okay. Right now, there's no plans. Any plans to release a new live record from this tour uh, in the DVD, How many finally? Live records can we do? Okay, but we have 72 live, DVD? live oh, records. Okay, <laughs> instant live. <laughs> That's what you mean? No. Well, okay. We have so many live records. I know. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's always been the same set. This set is a little bit different. And we want to do a live DVD. Do you change the set every night? No. We okay. have the same set because of Tom's vocals. He was told many times he could never sing again. So every time he came back, it sounds amazing, but he has to learn to sing each song rather than just go and sing. He couldn't go and just sing a Rolling Stones song like Cinderella. He has to know where the placement is of every single note. Yeah. So it's a very hard, uh, it's a lot of hard work for him to, uh, to get to sing these songs. And he sings them amazingly. And how do you live this, uh, you guys? I mean, are you supportive uh, yeah, with him? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. the fact that he's a, he's a, absolutely an amazing person to be able to to do that to come back from. And they said no more. Most people would just say okay. No more. I'll give up. I'll and then he did it, and then it happened again. And they said no more, and he was like, I'm gonna do it again. And now he's better than ever, and he's having no problems yeah. at all. It's unbelievable, really. It's amazing. Yeah. So, Gypsy Road is one of the best songs from out of the 80s. See what I just tell you, Gypsy the, Road. The they riff want to hear it. is one of the best ever, actually. Um, who came uh, with the idea of that song? Do you remember uh, the, the moment when uh, you wrote it? Uh, did you expect it to be so huge Tom from the very first moment? Tom had that song completely written when he brought it in. Uh -huh. The demo was exactly like the record. And he came in and he said, what do you think? Uh -huh. And it was perfect. Yeah. And everybody said, don't change the thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was uh, magic from the very It was magic. That thing. one and Shelter Me, the chorus for Shelter Me was, they were both, they were yeah. both. And Shelter Me, we did a little more work on, but Gypsy Road was perfect from the beginning. Okay. Um, do you have any intention of Ed Gary Corbett as a official let's say member of the lineup but did you ever think about that so he's been with you so many years now but you never thought of adding officially well 
defined officially because mm -hmm. he's been with us for so many years. Yeah, almost 20 years now. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you mean by officially? Like he's not in the in the photos of the band. He doesn't want to be. <laughs> All right. He likes the position that he has, so I'm okay with that. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, which are the plans now for Cinderella at the moment? To What's get in through the camp? Europe. Okay. With, yeah. To because uh, we came over here and we just hit the ground running. We have no days off. Very few. And no days off actually. Everything is a travel day. So uh, to get through Europe, get into the United States, and get that tour going, and then who knows? Uh, who knows? So you have a tour, I mean, uh, uh, with other bands in the plan now no, in the just States, us. just you, okay? Just us. To, until September. Which is the um, last question? Okay. The band that you have the best memories that you shared the, the stage with, because you've been playing with a lot of Played bands many, many through the years. Teams. Most of them were very good. Uh, bon Jovi was the coolest because he just treated us like an extension of his band. So we learned, we were out with David Lee Roth yeah. the first time, and he wouldn't let us do anything. Okay. And then we went out with Bon Jovi, and he gave us everything. He said, do you like the lights? We were like, yeah, they're perfect. And he said, okay, we'll give you 10 times more. Wow. What? Do you like the sound? <laughs> we were like, oh, it's perfect. And he said, okay, we'll give you 10 times more. He gave us everything that they had. So, and when we started headlining, we started treating our bands like Bon Jovi treated us. And then when next time we played with David Lee Roth, we were co-headliners. And that was, you know, we, we were just really nice to everybody. So I think Bon Jovi was the best, but you remember all of the tours. I mean, I'm still a fan. We're all still fans of everybody that we tour with. We're yeah. just like, oh my gosh, can you believe? Mm -hmm. That's Rob Halford or that's yeah. Klaus or that's, you know, whoever. We can't believe it. So we're all big fans. I remember one scene, one time, uh, one time of you with Slash that uh, you were, you were changing the hats yeah. and uh, you were trying pretending to be him. Uh, how many times did it happen that you've been mistaken for Slash in the year? So it uh, actually happened. What the the funniest one was when I played with Guns N' Roses. Yeah. And we got done with a show and somebody came running behind me and just saying we were going onto the bus and kept saying, you were so good tonight, I can't believe how great you were. And I was like, hey, wow, thanks. It's thanks. like the second night, with the, this yeah. is great. Thank you very much. He goes, Slash, you rule. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's so funny, so that's... Uh, yeah, they thought I was Slash. All right. I thought they were giving me a compliment. Yeah. Okay. So thanks very much for Thank being you. here. Thank you, did you get everything for, you need? Yes, this interview with Linea Rock. And just one last thing, if you can make an AD like... Uh, I am Fred Curry. Linea Rock. Linea? Linea Rock. 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 Linea Rock. Yeah. Hi, I'm Fred Corey from Cinderella, and you're watching Linea Rock.